specialness of this day and the fact that you guys have been in a trio for the last over the last decade? Oh man, it's it's an incredible, incredible um, feeling, blessing to play with two guys like that uh, for 12 years. The success we've had is great. Um, the downs we've had is great. You know, they bring us closer and we stick together through those. Um, the journey has been incredible. Very thankful to our organization for making this happen. Uh, I think, you know, most people get their flowers when they die. Like, in our case, it wouldn't be dying, but you get your flowers after you're done. You know, and for, uh, for the organization to um, honor us and, and, and make it a point. Like, we didn't have to have a game today, you know, just to make it a point to get it done. Very appreciative. Uh, you know, it's a great, great night, great moment. Um, but a lot more work to be done. Yeah, Steph was saying that you guys feel like, you know, obviously you've done a lot over these last 12 years, but you feel like, you know, you want to prove to people that you can still do some things. Um, how important is that to you? And what does it mean that you guys have had two really horrible losses and came back to win the next game, the one last night and uh, two nights ago, and then the OKC loss where you guys came back and won? Uh, I think, you know, uh, you know, think, you know we, we got a resilient group. Um, you know, things aren't going to always be perfect. But I think, you know, the true test is can you bounce back? And, you know, for us to bounce back the way we did, uh, I think it was – it was great, and it says a lot about this team. Even you know, even missing Chris and Wiggs and GP, um, it's a lot, you know. And, and to still get it done the way we did, the bench stepped up as they have all year, uh, you know. So I think this is a resilient group that you know we'll continue to find our way. Clay put up ten points in ninety seconds in the fourth quarter. There, what was it like to watch that? It was beautiful to watch, and it all started with Jonathan Kaminga giving him a handoff in the corner. Um, J.K. could have shot it, could have drove it, and he went uphill DHO and got Clay going. And I told him in that time out, you just got him 10 points off that one move. And no one will celebrate you for it. No one will acknowledge you for it, but I will. You just got him going. And that is incredible. That is growth on J.K.'s part. Obviously, we all know what Clay's capable of, um, and he's starting to play a lot better over the course of these last five games. Uh, but for for J.K. to get him going like that, that was special. Uh, and it, like I said, it shows the growth in J.K.'s game. Uh, Steve highlighted a play uh, where Pajemski blew up one of the Clippers play at the end uh, plays at the end. What do you notice about what he's able to do, sort of in terms of little things, not just scoring? Especially he's a gamer. Uh, he's a gamer. He's a competitor, and he's smart. And um, you know he is a student of the game. He asks a million questions, uh, whether it's to CP, whether it's me or coach. He's always asking questions. He'll come just sit next to you and listen, and you know it shows up when he plays. But you know BP is one of those guys that we knew right away coming into not even training camp. We knew right away uh, when we did a, the, the mini camp. Like yo, this kid can play. Like he's going to shock a lot of people because you know if you look at our roster. I'm, I'm certain the expectation was that he'd spent a bunch of time in Santa Cruz. And you saw him play once, and you're like, oh, man, this kid play. And then you see him play again, you're like, and I, I actually told my friends, I said, yo, I know everybody's thinking BP's going to spend a bunch of time in Santa Cruz. Watch him end up being a part of the rotation. And it's unfortunate that we got guys out, but when you do have guys out, that's your opportunity to step up. And every time his number's been called, he stepped up. And so it's good to see him having the success he's had and having. It's great for us, great for him, and he'll continue to grow because he loves eight rebounds. Like, I couldn't even get eight rebounds <laughs> tonight. Like, that, he just, he's all over the place. He reads the game, he's solid, doesn't make mistakes. Um, and that shows in him blowing up a play. That's a rookie. Rookies don't blow up plays. Like, rookies fuck up plays. <laughs> and, he doesn't. Jerry, um, you, you speak about you know being with that group for 12 years, um, looking at the Clippers and the four guys 
uh, that they have together now that James is on that team. What were your thoughts when those guys got together and after playing them, uh, what, were, are your, what, what do you feel like stands out about that group compared to some of the other top heavy teams that you've seen and played it with and against? Oh, well, I think it's, you know, um, <clears throat> it's obviously an experiment. Anytime you make a move like bringing in a James Harden uh, to a team like that, you're experimenting. Um, ultimately thinking that it's going to be great. And, you know, they're very early into their experiment. Um, you know, they're still figuring out rotations. Uh, Russell played 26 minutes tonight. I saw the other day he played 18, you know, and so – they're still figuring everything out. They're figuring out what system they'll run with that group. And, um, you know, I think overall they're, they're good, you know, a really good team. But, you know, it, it, uh, as someone who's played on a team like that, you know, with a bunch of uh, superstars, all-stars, it takes time for it to come together. You know, and so I'm not really one to sit and judge them on how they look right now, what they're what they're doing great, what they're doing not so great, because the reality is something that they're doing great right now could actually be in a way. Like, you just don't know, you know. You could look up two weeks from now and what you thought they were doing great is just totally goes away because they found this, you know. And so I think um, still got to give it more time for them to – figure out, work out the kinks, and, and also learn how to play together. You know, that matters in this league. You know, continuity uh, matters. And so, you know, um, like I said before, you look at it on paper and it's beautiful to have all those guys who we know what they're capable of doing. But I also know that it, it does take time for it to come together and figure it out. And, you know, they've been playing better as of late. There's a lot of talk from you guys early in the season, uh, just the improved chemistry and the improved feel around the team. You were six and two, um, but uh, that's obviously usually tested, you know, through losing streaks, injuries, all that. Uh, what's kind of just your updated take on, you know, where this team from a chemistry standpoint is that, you know, at nine and ten going through a lot of stuff? Uh, I think, um, you know, we still have the same belief we had before, which is this team can win a championship. Uh, you know, we've shown flashes of being that group. And at times we haven't, but this is a different team. And you have to build, just as I said about the Clippers, you have to build consistency and continuity. And we're still in that phase as well. But, I, you know, I, this is a team that we all believe in. Uh, we know um, what this team, what we think this team is capable of, and we know what it takes to win a championship. And we think we have all those pieces and the things that it takes to win a championship. Uh, not ideal to be 9 and 10. Fortunately enough, see if I got good math. We got 63 games left. Was that right? Uh, Perfect. Uh, what do you? I mean, Gary's out probably a while. Uh, you know, who knows with Wiggins and Chris? What do you need from Kaminga from a defensive standpoint? Uh, we need him to just compete on the defensive end. Uh, his physical attributes uh, can be overbearing on the defensive end as it is. You add the effort and the want to play defense uh, and turns into a monster. He was incredible tonight on both ends of the floor. And so I don't just view it as defensively. We need his offense as well. Uh, J.K. brings something to this team that no one else brings. Uh, with his slashing, uh, his athletic ability in the paint, uh, ability to finish in the paint. And, you know, when he's knocking shots down the way he knocks shots down tonight, it's a bonus. You know, but he was uh, – sp- he was really special on both ends of the court tonight and a huge reason why we won this game. Uh, plus 13, second highest plus minus on his team. And it showed, you could see it as the game was going on, he was brilliant. Yeah, that's dope. Ty, what, what, when you're thinking to use that really small lineup with Bones in that third quarter to kind of maybe get some juice going. Where you at? Uh, what'd you say? What went into going that that really small lineup? Bones really hadn't played rotation minutes in about three weeks. I mean, just to get him in there, play really, really small, what were you looking for there? Um, just some offensive energy, some um, being able to push the ball, some shooting on the floor, and put him in a tough position, but um, just thought the game was a little too fast for Kobe tonight, so we wanted to just try to switch it up a little bit. But, um, you know, it is what it is. 
time uh, Steph he only only wound up 10 to 15 shots uh, it seemed like the team uh, tried to focus on containing him uh, what were you trying to just do defensively and, and how do you feel like you were able to execute on that in the floor tonight um, just try to keep him inside a three point line um, you know not let him get a lot of threes off um, and then I thought in the second half like we talked about before the game we did a good job getting to the paint finishing you know around the basket uh, with some tough finishes but you know, overall, I thought, you know, we were up, when we were up a little bit and Draymond's at the five, like when Draymond got behind us the defensively, it was tough, put a lot of pressure on our defense. And so um, that was tough to see. So we just got to, you know, be able to correct those things on Saturday when we play. Hey, Coach, back here. Uh, it seemed like Russ made some good cuts tonight, got some baskets, made some extra passes. Has that been a point of emphasis, getting him moving without the ball? Yeah, um, just put him in positions when teams are going to blitz, you know, James or PG or Kawhi, um, getting him where he's getting that backdoor cut, you know, for dunks or, or layups, and then working the baseline, you know, in that short action, which he's done a good job of too as well. Coach, over here to your, to your right. Um, I realize it's a work in progress for you offensively, but uh, when you do get to where you want to be, what is your vision for like some of the key tenets of what this team is going to be uh, on the offensive end to be that dominant offense that I think people thought they would be when uh, you guys brought this group together? Yeah, I think um, last night was really the blueprint of how we want to play. Um, every night teams are going to play different defensively, so we got to understand that. But I think... Um, just being able to play together and understand, you know, the time and score, where guys need the ball on the floor, when guys haven't had a touch, you know, things like that. And then just getting better organized after makes. You know, we have three calls that we want to make, and sometimes we're, we're unorganized. And so we just got to make sure we continue to stay organized and make sure we're getting in something and not playing as much random basketball. How do you feel like Norm came out of came out of this? It was good to see him play, but he hasn't looked like himself even before he got hurt yesterday. He doesn't look like he's got gotten the normal volume that you are accustomed to seeing from a player like him. Like where, where do you feel like he's at right now? Um, well, you know, Norm, he always wants to play. You know, regardless of the circumstances, if he can if he can give it a go, and it's up to him, he's going to try to play. And so, appreciate him trying to you know gut that out and play tonight and I got to do a better job of just getting him involved but that's when it comes in when you know on May baskets just make sure we're calling a set and getting in something so we can kind of keep everybody involved in the game and so um, if we can't handle that then I got to do a better job of just make sure we slow it down and call call plays so we're in the right spots and right right place. What do you feel like the goal for this team is over the next week and a half 10 days uh, going into this new month of December? What's the goal? Yeah, what would you target as something that you mm. want to see accomplish in the short term? I think offensively um, is big for me. Um, just being able to get organized, getting to the right spots, getting to the right spacing, doing it hard, doing it with some pace. Like we talked about the half court pace, and I thought tonight our half court pace was slow. Um, I thought our calls were a little slow getting into it, so guys were out of place and having to run at different spots. And so just getting our play calls in a little earlier and understanding what we're trying to do. When you, a couple of games ago, you mentioned that with James, you were hoping that he could make those calls really, really early after um, when, he, when he would start a possession. How's that gone? Um, Help with that organization you're talking about. Yeah, like I thought... You know, yesterday I did more of that, you know, so I just got to just keep helping him along until he gets comfortable. Um, like I said, just, you know, making sure he gets comfortable is the main thing and um, just continue to keep getting better with it. It felt like when we left San Antonio, all the guys were acknowledging that this 5-7 and seven was really going to test you guys. What do you feel like you learned about this group over the last week? More so than anything, just I think tested us mentally. You know, I just think that, um, understand that we can do it. You know, guys have fought, fought through it. You know, um, and I told you know PG. You know, he played. He's been playing a lot of minutes, and so for him to, you know, continue to keep fighting through. You know, playing 30 to 40 minutes the last five out of seven games. Um, you know, that's tough to do, especially when it's five and seven. You know, and so, um, like I said tonight, he looked tired to me. You know, a few loose balls that we couldn't get to. Um, his shot was short, and so like I said, that, that's on me. Just. You know, coming off a of back-to-back last night where he played 41 minutes. And so, you know, he's got to be, you know, smart about it. You know, he said he felt good physically, but just you could just see he was tired. And, um, 
you know, so we just got to get through Saturday. And then after that, we'll have four days off and, you know, kind of come together, work on some things we need to clean up on both sides of the basketball and go from there.